On the last episode of this series, I looked at Troy Denning, specifically his Star Wars Legends novels, to rank them based on the aggregated user review scores from the five major book reviewing websites in a series EU by the numbers. Um, this I, was data I collected about two years ago for the expandeduniverse.com. If you want more information on how I got those numbers and calculated them, you can go there to the pinned comment on this video. But today, I want to talk about Karen Travis, the third and final of the uh, Legacy of the Force authors I'll be covering. Uh, just some stats real quick here. She wrote 10 novels, which is tied for third amongst the adult um, authors and tied eighth for overall Star Wars Legends authors. Uh, note, she is tied with uh, Tim Guzan, who I um, went over in a couple videos ago. Though on that one, I had, I had it incorrect. He is tied eighth overall, not seventh. Just a correction there. She has an average star rating of 4.13, which puts her at second amongst all Star Wars Expanding um, Universe authors. This is how many stars out of five she, um, her books were given, as all five book reviewing websites use a five-star rating scale. In total user ranking, she is ninth at 60,897. And dividing that by her 10 books, you get a 6,089.7 user ratings per book. User ratings are how many people on these uh, various websites left a rating on one of her books. She was also active from 2004 to 2009 at 10 books uh, in six years. That actually puts her at averaging 1.66 books per year, which is the next highest amongst all the authors who have written at least uh, six books. The only um, um, one even close to her is Michael Stackpole, who had 1.6. Now coming in at number 10, we have the Clone Wars novelization, which came out on Saturday, the um, the 26th of July, 2008. Uh, this is also the only one of her books that came out on, that didn't come out on a Tuesday. Um, again, Del Rey preferred to prefer um, release books on a Tuesday, as that would maximize their chances on the USA Today and New York Times bestsellers list. So most of them came out on a Tuesday. It has a star rating of 3.87, with uh, 3,764 user ratings and an overall ranking of 79 out of the 160 adult Star Wars Legends novels. Coming in at number 9, we have the second book in Legacy of the Force Bloodlines, which came out on Tuesday, August 29th of 2006. It has a star rating of 3.96, with a 7,720 user ratings, and an overall ranking of 49 out of 160. At number 8, we have the other... TCW tie-in novel, uh, No Prisoners, which came out on Tuesday, um, May 19th, 2009. This has a star rating of 3.98, a user rating of uh, 2,232, which is the lowest of all of her novels, but is overall ranked at 43 out of the 160 adult Star Wars like novels. At number seven, we have book uh, uh, eight, sorry, like see the Force Revelation, which came out on Tuesday, February 26, 2008. It has a star rating of 3.99 with uh, 6,896 user ratings and an overall ranking of 39 out of 160. Coming at number six, uh, rounding off the Legacy of the Force series, we have Book 5, Sacrifice, which came out on Tuesday, May 29th of 2007. This one with a star rating of 4.05 with a 7,909 user ratings and an overall ranking of 26 out of 160. And at number five is the uh, uh, final book of the Republic Commando series, Imperial Commando, which came out on Tuesday, the uh, 27th of October, 2009. Uh, Again, all of her top five are the Republic Commando books, um, if you couldn't already tell. And book five comes in at number five. It has a star rating of 4.26, with uh, 4,861 total user ratings, and is overall ranked seven out of ten. Not only are the Republic Commando book novels all within Karen Travis's top five, but they are actually all in the top ten amongst all Legends novels. And number four, we have book two, of Republic Commando Triple Zero, which came out on Tuesday, February 28, 2006. This one with a star rating of 4.28, uh, with 6,825 user ratings and an overall ranking of 6 out of 160 Star Wars novels. At number 3, we have Book 1, 
Hard Contact, of Republican Mando, her first ever book. This came out on Tuesday, the 26th of October, 2004. It has a star rating of 4.29 with uh, 9,174 user ratings, her highest of all her novels, and an overall ranking of fifth out of the 160 Star Wars Legends novels. At number two, we have book four, Order 66, of the Republic Commando series, which came out on Tuesday, September 16th of 2008. It with a star, work, um, star rating of 4.31, uh, 5,553 user ratings, and an overall ranking of fourth out of 160. And at number one, we have book three of Republic Commando, True Colors, which came out on Tuesday, the 30th of October, 2007. This one with a star rating of 4.33, user rating of 5,963, and an overall ranking of second out of 160. Now, as I do, just some charts wrapping up her books over time. Um, I haven't really, I don't think I've explained these charts exactly. This is simply each dot on this is one of her books and how they did correlated to when they came out, just to kind of see how her books fared um, or how people perceived her writing style and how many people read the, her books over time. So as you can see with this, it's actually a very fascinating graph. Um, uh, with these star ratings over time, you'll notice that, the again, the Republic Commando books are just way ahead of everything else. Her Legacy of the Force tie-in, um, her three Legacy of the Force entries and two Clone Wars tie-ins. And they kind of basically go back and forth as uh, there isn't really an increase or decrease in how people see them. It's just that they really like the Republic Commando, and the other stuff is all right, but, you know, not up to Republic Commando. What is... Um, an overall trend is the ratings over time, as you can see. They did um, the number of people reviewing her books did go down. Again, you see those spikes uh, about when a Republic Commando book came out, um, when, as opposed to one of her other books. But more or less, they went down. Uh, but again, Republic Commando is still very popular amongst the people who leave book reviews on these various websites. So that is all um, for Karen Travis. Thank you for watching. Please let me know which other Legends authors you want me to go over. I've gone over about half of them that follow my criteria of having at least five novels in of the adult novels. Um, thank you for watching, and take care.